Hello and welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the past and its impact on the present. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most influential and controversial figures in ancient history, Nebuchadnezzar II, the king of Babylon who conquered Jerusalem and exiled the Jews. Who was he, and what did he do? How did his actions shape the history and culture of the Middle East and beyond? Let's find out, Nebuchadnezzar II was born around 630 BC, the son of Nabopolassar, the founder of the Neo-Babylonian Empire. He inherited a powerful and prosperous kingdom that stretched from the Persian Gulf to the Mediterranean Sea. He was a brilliant military leader and a ruthless conqueror. He fought against the Egyptians and the Assyrians, who were the dominant powers in the region at the time. He defeated them in several battles, such as the Battle of Carchemish in 605 BC, where he crushed the army of Pharaoh Necho II. He also subdued the smaller kingdoms and tribes that resisted his rule, such as the Arameans, the Arabs, and the Edomites, but his most famous and infamous campaign was against the Kingdom of Judah, the southern part of the ancient Israel. Judah was a vassal state of Babylon, but it rebelled several times, hoping to gain independence or ally with Egypt. Nebuchadnezzar was not amused by this. He invaded Judah and besieged Jerusalem, the capital city, three times. The first siege was in 597 BC, when he captured the Jewish king Jehoiakim and deported him and thousands of other nobles, warriors, and craftsmen to Babylon. He also looted the treasures of the Temple of Solomon, the sacred place of worship for the Jews. He appointed a puppet king named Zedekiah, who was supposed to be loyal to him, but Zedekiah also rebelled, and Nebuchadnezzar returned with a vengeance. The second siege was in 587 BC, when he completely destroyed Jerusalem and the Temple of Solomon. He burned the city to the ground, killed thousands of people, and deported most of the survivors to Babylon. He also blinded Zedekiah and took him as a prisoner. The third siege was in 582 BC, when he crushed the last remnants of resistance in Judah. He left the land desolate and depopulated, and ended the existence of the Kingdom of Judah, this event is known as the Babylonian Exile, and it had profound consequences for the Jews and the world. It was a traumatic and tragic experience for the Jewish people, who lost their homeland, their temple, and their king. They also faced the challenge of living in a foreign land, surrounded by a different culture and religion. But it was also a transformative and creative period, where they reformed and strengthened their faith and identity. They preserved and edited their scriptures, which later became the basis of the Hebrew Bible and the Old Testament. They also developed new forms of worship and leadership, such as the synagogue and the rabbi. They also interacted with the Babylonians, and adopted some of their myths and rituals, such as the creation story, the flood story, and the Sabbath. The Babylonian exile shaped the Jewish religion and culture for centuries to come, and influenced the emergence of Christianity and Islam, but what about Nebuchadnezzar himself? What was he like as a person and a ruler? He was not only a warrior, but also a builder and a patron of the arts. He rebuilt and beautified Babylon, making it one of the most splendid cities in the ancient world. He constructed magnificent structures, such as the Ishtar Gate, the Hanging Gardens, and the Tower of Babel. He was devoted to the pagan god Marduk, the chief deity of Babylon, and celebrated his victories and achievements in his name. He also commissioned many inscriptions and monuments that glorified his deeds and his dynasty, but he was not without flaws and troubles. He was arrogant and ambitious, and claimed to be the king of the world. He was also cruel and oppressive, and imposed heavy taxes and tributes on his subjects. He also suffered from mental illness, according to some sources. The Book of Daniel, a Jewish text that was written during or after the exile, tells a story of how Nebuchadnezzar was punished by God for his pride and hubris. He was driven mad and lived like an animal for seven years, until he acknowledged the sovereignty of God and regained his sanity. This story is not confirmed by any historical evidence, but it reflects the Jewish perception of Nebuchadnezzar as a tyrant and a madman. Nebuchadnezzar died in 562 BC after ruling for 43 years. He was succeeded by his son Amel Marduk, who was assassinated after two years. His dynasty lasted for another 20 years, until it was overthrown by the Persians, who conquered Babylon in 539 BC. Nebuchadnezzar's legacy is mixed and complex. He was vilified by the Jews and other religions as a wicked and insane ruler, who defied God and oppressed his people. He was also praised by some historians and scholars as a great builder and a just ruler, who expanded and enriched his empire. He was one of the most powerful and influential kings of the ancient world, and his actions changed the course of history and culture. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. We post new videos every week, covering various topics and periods of history. Stay tuned for more. See you next time.